It's mine. Well, hello there, stranger. Ooh, you're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. You remember blink? Ooh, well look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion? No, no better word than that. Ah! A premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now, you see that tower out there? The big, scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the Bitcoin and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> so sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but... I know how to spin a yarn, if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there, but understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm going to send you back. Now, don't be a f And just... Try to enjoy it this time. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? get you some seashells, what do you say? You see that big spiky plant over there?
That's called Nagave. Eleven years. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Okay. Go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every breath. Mommy, don't you? <laughs> Sounds good, honey. I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. Yeah, I worry that might have something to do with it. Look at his little face. What do you think he's thinking about? Probably solving the problems of the universe. No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my peace, John. It really means a lot. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. Hey, we do not throw things in this house. If you're... See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? I just don't want him. Richard. What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, what's wrong with that? We can't. <laughs> now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? Very good! Just one note different. That one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. Dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful.
that, that's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, are you hearing this? What? He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean... Oh God, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. It's all organized into folders, sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are... When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, I might be a work of genius, just as I was. He said, Yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on. But I haven't seen him in over ten years. with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. You're off. There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my. Well, don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L. So we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos?